Ja. Go ahead. Is you going? Yeah. Auntie Heather is here. Hi guys. She's coming to hang out. I did, was not going to vlog it, funny enough. And then she wanted to vlog, and I was like, I can't be looking crazy now. They're like, uh, you always look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, you look Girl. so pretty today, by the way. I'm gonna tell you that. We're gonna head to the park because, you know, we follow Lily's lead. <laughs> that's how it goes. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh okay. okay. That's, that's pretty good. Mm. Wait, what about mommy? Uh, you're the leader of daddy. <laughs> Facts, actually. <laughs> daddy is caboose. <laughs> Terminology, though. <laughs> that is some good terminology, babe. Lily loves her Auntie Heather, don't you, baby? I love my Lily. Oh, and she loves me. Oh, yeah. girls rule, girls rule. This Daddy is a girls Drew. club. Daddy Jewel. Daddy Jewel. Daddy Jewel. <laughs> <laughs> <Poor> Daddy. <laughs> we'll see you get to the park. Go, go, Lily, go. <laughs> Here we go. Yep. <laughs> Dramatic. What do you used to be able to do? I used to like do this. Uh huh. And then like uh, flip over. Oh, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> so I was trying to push Lily in, and she's like, "I want Auntie Heather to push me." You see that rudeness? Hi, Bobo. Big boys here. Hey. We just woke up. All right, so we are going home. It was really hard to show you guys this play at the park because. There's kids there, and I don't like showing kids. So Auntie Bat came, just like woke up from his nap. They're playing frisbee. I love our neighborhood so much. Okay guys, the kids are down. Auntie Heather's still here, say hi. They're like, I see you have that broke couch too. <laughs> so I'm gonna clock this so hard because of oh that couch. God. I was saying to myself, yes, the kids are down. And I wanted to ask Auntie Heather, what kind of parent do you think you're gonna be? Do you hear that? Oh, it's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep deprived and cuckoo. I don't know which one at this point. Which kind of parent do you think you're gonna be? Do you think I'm gonna be like a hover or like, do you think I'm gonna be like free spirited? Might hover when it comes to like new things mm -hmm. at first, but mm -hmm. I might get used to it and then be a little bit more like laid back and relaxed about it. That's a good answer. What kind of parent do you think I am? I think you guys are amazing parents. Oh, thank you. I think we're hyper. <laughs> but you like let her do her thing. That's a really cute wine glass. Thank you. Wait, I can't marry my mister without my sister. <gasps> what, what the frick? <laughs> Well, will you be my maid of honor, matron? Oh, you want to be? Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Wait, you didn't read the whole thing. I can't marry my mister without my sister. Will you be my matron of honor? Aww. I'm gonna cry. Of course. Oh my gosh. I love you. you. I love you, and I love how she knows me. Put in a wine glass. Put in a wine glass. <laughs> I was like, oh, how am I gonna ask Rachel? I'm like, oh, wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> and then they come. Do you like how I ask for wine? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's perfect opportunity. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Lucas, <laughs> you were putting the baby down. Look, it's fun. Thank you. Oh my God, legit. I was like, can I have some wine, Lucas? <laughs> <laughs> Heather, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, what is the limit? What is the monetary limit? Cause of what? I'm about to pop off. Oh gosh. <laughs> How uh, much can I spend? Like 25, 30 bucks? Oh. Separate right. <laughs> <laughs> I put something on your refrigerator. What? No, what did you put on your refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> what did she put on here? <gasps> oh my goodness, there's a secret. <laughs> They think I'm dramatic, but it's okay. <gasps> a 
just received a date and looked as dear and oh my fingers are ashy. It's okay. I didn't know. She didn't tell me this. Oh my gosh, Heather. Heather and Darren been together for how long? We got together officially like four days after your wedding. Mm-hmm. So seven years. Seven years. And um a girl was waiting for them to get married. So was I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, you thought you were waiting? So, so like, I resigned myself to the fact, I was like, okay, it might never happen. Like, wait, like he's not like a wedding person right. or a really big believer in marriage. And otherwise, we've committed to each other. So it's all right. I'm okay with it. But then he pulled I'm like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Their love story is insane. So wait. Okay, Man, I know some people who- like, <laughs> You're building this up a lot. You don't know where we're at. <laughs> they jumped off of like a sky building. Oh my God. But if you are new here, yes, this couch is ratchet. I understand that. But we're gonna get new ones. It's actually supposed to be delivered today, but they didn't show up. So if you see this ratchetness between us, just, just, just don't mind it. Just listen to the story. I think we told you guys in another video, Rachel and I used to run together at USS. Mm -hmm. Go Bulls. And so we were at a cross country meet in Tallahassee at Florida State. And it was during Lucas's race. He was running, but he was already finished, I think. My fiance ran for Florida State and he was in the cross country meet um, more as like a training exercise because he's an 800 meter runner. Oh baby, it's all right. It's <laughs> <laughs> covered. <laughs> so Darren was running. He saw one of our male teammates kind of struggling towards the end. What none of us knew is that he had a virus and his kidneys were actually starting to fail. Well, remember we ended up at the hospital. Yeah, afterwards. we did. It's called run something something. We got, yeah. we got stuck in Tallahassee. But anyways, so he saw him like falling on the course and so he ran out, picked him up, and carried him across the finish line. And so I reached sweet. out to say thank you because it was like a really sweet thing that he did. You know, most people just like, <laughs> you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. good luck. But he actually helped him across the finish line and took him straight to the medical tent and told him what was going on. Yep, yep. And so afterwards, we're stuck in Tallahassee because our bus driver was like awake for too long, mm -hmm. I guess, and he wasn't allowed to be up anymore. Mm -hmm. So we had to sit in a hotel, so I used that time to like figure out who Darren was, and I sent him a thank you on like Facebook. She's like, he's cute too. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so cute. But, so we just started talking, and we were friend, really good friends for the whole uh, three years, because that was our sophomore year right, in college. Mm -hmm. So we were really good friends, and then after college, when he moved back to Tampa, we started hanging out more. Um, we went to a Halloween party with you guys. That's true. We weren't dating yet. And then four days after their wedding, we were hanging out again. And that's when he asked me to be his girlfriend. Aww. And we've been together since. So her husband, sorry, her soon to be husband, her fiance, is, he's a really great guy. If you guys one day get to meet him and get to like, get to know him, he's incredible. And I'm glad he finally, Yeah. oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry, <laughs> legit. I've been so emotional no, in my pregnant. No, don't start because then I'm gonna start. You can't cry because then I'm gonna okay, I need to like relax. I need to not because then I'm gonna cry. Legit. <laughs> can't believe it. I'm like so happy. I can't believe I'm crying. No. Why am I crying? Mm. I'm just so happy. Okay, Rachel, just relax, relax. <laughs> I can't believe about this. I'm so happy. He, like, I'm just so happy. married. Like, I can't. You guys get to build a life together, you know, forever. And I'm gonna spoil you so much. <laughs> Don't. So if you're Brent out there, take away the credit cards. Take away the credit cards. Take away the debit cards. Seriously though, like, Heather, I'm like, I'm just so happy. I'm just. I don't think. I don't think you understand. I don't cry. <laughs> Oh, I mean, would you want to get me, Mom, Papa Joe to come up so that immediately after the ceremony where Rachel, or where Lillian and Josiah are with my flower oh, no, 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 no. ring bearer, you no, can no, pass no, them right no. off afterwards? No, no, no. Lillian's going to be the flower. What is wrong with you? Oh, wait, and Josiah's going to be a ring bearer. No. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine little Josiah? Where are, right. <laughs> where are you going? Where are you going? Well, off into the dark. With the wine. <laughs> and Josiah's gonna be the reader? Yeah. I'm like, do you see this? No one could talk to me. No one. 
Like, didn't DC this? Did? Okay, I'm just wondering. Okay. Oh, oh my God. What? Okay, that's what I thought. Mm. That's what I... She's gonna walk around everywhere you guys right. are now with her cup. Yes. Like, can you fill my cup, please? Excuse me. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lucas fell asleep while me and Heather talked until 2 o'clock in the morning. Just kidding, it's 10. But she's sleeping next to him. Leo's knocked out on the couch. I'm about to sleep too. I think want to say bye to everybody. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye babes. Mm, love you. Safe drive. It's a far one. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Get some sleep. <laughs> Go sleep. Everybody <laughs> like like in the comments is gonna say, I try to tell him to sleep. Alright, see when you guys wake up, I'll come help build your wine thing. Okay, we can't text you that because she wakes up at six. So it takes you up. It'll probably be after I'll be after I pick up the rug. After, after the rug. After, after the rug. lunch or something. <laughs> I kept free life, you know? Just like that, she's gone. Oh my gosh. I'm exhausted. It's funny, she has no kids and I'm like how is it like waking up with no kids? How is it just eat breakfast and then just, <sighs> but you know what? I absolutely love this chaotic life. Oh my gosh, I don't think you guys understand how much I love my kids. I love them. I love how crazy life is. And I want like 20 kids now because, mm, I feel like two is just not stressful enough, you know? I just need more. <laughs> I'm probably gonna call it night and then see you guys in the morning because we still have a lot to do. So we'll see you guys soon. Hey Leo, you wanna say hi? Some of you guys say you're missing Leo. Come here, Leo. Say hi, Leo. Leo is now becoming a Benji to where he just wants to sleep and doesn't. He's still he's still in her face, don't get me wrong, but now I'm too tired to talk. And the battery's dying, so I'll see you guys. Bye.